Gary Russell and Devin Haney been going back and forth. So Devin Haney, he took the opportunity when Gary Russell called out Crawford for the 1.5 million. And he pretty much put it out there. We offer it to you. So Gary Russell came out. He responded to that by stating, listen, that's personal when it comes to Crawford. You, you business, my man. So put another 0.5, I'll fight you for 2 million. I personally thought the two million was legit. However, after a pandemic or toward the end of the pandemic, due to the Rona, I know money is kind of low right now. I already knew Devin Haney he might not be able to offer Crawford that much amount. So Devin Haney took to his Twitter and he stated, "The new way of ducking is pricing yourself out." So when Devin Haney said that, I really knew Devin Haney wants to fight at all costs because he's pressing for Gary Russell buttons. And my IQ showing love. I appreciate the love, my man. I knew automatically that Devin Haney really wanted to smoke because he's pressing every single Gary Russell button. If Devin Haney, for example, he didn't really want to fight Gary Russell. He wouldn't have said anything at all. He would have just played the moment and said, you know what? We try to offer him 1.5, but he wanted 2 million, right? But he kept pressing Gary Russell buttons. So I knew something was going to escalate. We're going to get somewhere with this. I knew that right away as soon as I saw the tweet. I was looking forward to what Gary Russell had to say. Now, surprisingly, Gary Russell, he actually accepted the $1.5 million. He said, I'm going to call Devin Haney Bluff. If you want it, you could get it. Send me the $1.5 million. I signed to fight you, Devin Haney. And you definitely have to respect Gary Russell for that because he wants the smoke at all costs. He's willing to take a pay cut, if you want to call it that. So as soon as he did that, apparently Eddie Hearn got told by Billy Haney and Haney, hey, send Gary Russell the offer. Let's see if he's for real. Eddie Hearn did so. Now, today, earlier today, matter of fact, Gary Russell came out. Gary Russell claimed that Devin Haney and his team trying to add stipulations in the contract so they won't make the fight. That's what Gary Russell claimed. Now, a lot of people got confused when it came to what Gary Russell said. So let me clear the airwaves because a lot of people started accusing Devin Haney for wanting no smoke. So this is all Eddie Hearn because Devin Haney doesn't benefit by putting stipulation in the contract. He doesn't benefit not even a single bit. You know why that is? Because Devin Haney doesn't own the zone. You could call him Mr. DeZone because he's the future of DeZone. He could possibly save DeZone. But beside that, he don't benefit by putting stipulation in the contract. For example, the stipulation could possibly be if Gary Russell accept the $1.5 million to fight Devin Haney, he also have to accept multiple fight deal to fight on DeZone afterwards if he's successful of defeating and dethroning the young champion, Devin Haney. So pretty much Eddie Hearn trying to capitalize off the moment by having a backup plan. If Gary Russell does pull off the win, then Gary Russell is obligated to fight multiple times on the zone. That's the stipulation that Gary Russell was pointing out. Gary Russell stated, that he felt like he was talking to Eddie. And he pretty much was. That's all Eddie Hearn trying to capitalize on the moment in case Gary Russell does beat Devin Haney. So that pretty much was the case. And even Gary Russell clarified it by stating he felt like he was talking to Eddie. So Gary Russell is completely 1000% correct. So Devin Haney clapped back to what Gary Russell had to say. That was on Twitter. He stated, I'm going to be all of the cap out of Gary. Watch. And when I beat the dog shit out of him, watch him make every excuse in the book like he did 
with Loma. Devin Haney's taking shots at Gary Russell for blaming the loss to Lomachenko on the fact that he was dehydrated. So Devin Haney is pretty much saying, listen, man, this man's finna make every excuse in the book once I beat him. So like I said, Devin Haney wants to fight. Trust me. Gary Russell also want the fight. I think Eddie Hearn is kind of blocking the fight in between. You all got to remember, Lomachenko name just got into the mix. Lomachenko, that was his best win. It's Gary Russell. To this day. To this day. Lomachenko's best win is Gary Russell. So Eddie Hearn, he's, he knows the risk that's involved. He knows the risk that he's dealing with. So he's trying to capitalize on the moment in case something doesn't go as planned. But I believe that Devin Haney, he wants to fight. Because you got to remember, if Devin didn't want the fight, all he had to do is wait it out. Because Gary stated, you have a time window. If you don't meet my demands by Friday, which is like four days from now, then we don't have a deal no more. I got other plans. I'm trying to fight twice this year. And he's trying to move up to the lightweight division. So with that being stated, it's safe to say that Devin Haney followed up with action because action speak louder than words. And Devin Haney definitely lived up to every single bit. Devin Haney has declared that he have now sent a contract to Gary Russell Jr. He said he agreed to giving Russell the $1.5 million he asked for without any unwanted stipulation in the contract. Matter of fact, Devin Haney took to his Twitter today stating, and I quote, I got the $1.5 Gary Russell, no stipulation, rematch clause only. I'm ready to beat your ass. End of the quote. Therefore, I stay to be corrected. I told all of my Aki's yesterday on Split Decision that this fight, it's gonna happen. This is the murderous row fighters of today fighting each other. As far as I'm concerned, both Devin Haney and Gary Russell are the murderous row fighters in their division. Gary Russell on one hand, the longest reigning champion in boxing today, the most feared at 126. He's feared for a reason. He had long seasons where he couldn't get any action because he is the most feared in his division. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Devin Haney, the youngest, richest, most feared champion in the lightweight division. He have no Machenko requesting belts in order to avoid the smoke. So I knew it was a matter of time till the fight is on, which is pretty much the case today. All we missing is a signature from Gary Russell. There's no more stipulation. According to Billy Haney, he said he was trying to bless Gary Russell after they beat his tail. And according to Gary Russell, he gonna beat Devin Haney and teach him a lesson. So we all can't wait. This is going to be one of the biggest fight in 2020 and the biggest the zone fight this whole year if i recall correctly pbc and espn regardless of the pandemic they had premier fights this year meanwhile the zone haven't had a single premier fight and there's definitely going to be one so drop your comments below to all of my keys whoever you were siding with yesterday I want you to keep the same energy and give both of these guys their props. Respect is earned, not given. And it's safe to say both Devin Haney and Gary Russell are demanding respect the way they carry and move like a real champion does. So with that being stated, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these decasts, the dumb casual ass fans that don't know shit about boxing. Word to Roger Mayweather. May he rest in peace, inshallah. And shout out to my bro Ski, my Aki Dante for being the entrepreneur of new media that I'm a part of, the real media in boxing that always talk about the real issues at hand. 
speaking the absolute truth. So with that being stated, join me on Boxing Hood is a show with my own broski, my own Aki on Aki TV exclusively. So join me tomorrow or Thursday whenever the news come out of this fight being official. We going live to celebrate. So if you want to get notified every time I post or go live on Aki TV, all you have to do is click on the notification bell in order to get notified every time I post or go live and to be continue on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Aki TV. Peace and we at you.